this week um it's a good look right here <laughs> so i uh i'm exhausted <laughs> so much happening lately monday so today's wait what's today wednesday today is wednesday um so i'm on evenings today tomorrow oh well that's nice look at that I was not expecting. Usually when I have like braids or whatever, it just is like a mess. Um, anywho, so, um, I don't even know what I want to say. I don't know. Um, it's rehash. I'm on evenings this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Normally I would do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, but they switched my evenings to Thursday because there's nobody to cover Thursdays or something. I don't know. I'm okay with it. Then I get a three-day weekend. Fine by me. So today is my third day. Um, Monday and yesterday, I was up at six in the morning um, because Casper wakes up around six in the morning and always comes in and wants to have a date downstairs with me. Like he just wants Casper and mommy downstairs. 
Um, so Monday, I don't really remember. I think I maybe slept a little bit extra. Yesterday, Peter let me sleep till 7.30 and then I had to get up because he was leaving to go to work. So Monday and Tuesday, the boys just did a half day of daycare. Tuesday was supposed to be like a little bit insane in the morning, pre-daycare, but we'll get to that. So Monday, we had a bit of a lazy morning. Um, and then finally, after Felix had like a little cat nap, um, everybody got dressed and we decided to go for a walk and check the mail and all that good stuff. Um, and then it was like, have lunch, wham bam, thank you ma'am, get ready, go to daycare. So it was have lunch, everybody got to brush their teeth, um, get our things together, like all the stuff that has to go to daycare, which like we try to leave some of it there, especially like when they're going consecutive days so that we're not carting everything back and forth because there's really no need. Um, so I just have to bring like Felix's helmet and his shoes because he doesn't walk enough. He walks enough. That's the wrong thing to say. He, uh, like I can't like take him out of the car, set him down and he doesn't know to like walk to the door to go inside. <laughs> he would probably just like wander. So I don't bother putting his shoes on because that takes a whole bunch of extra time that I don't have um, right now. So I just carry him in, put his shoes inside his helmet, carry his helmet in, off they go. So when they do a half day, they get there usually at one in the afternoon, they go straight down for like nap slash quiet time. And then they have the whole afternoon to play with whoever's there, um, which is sometimes just the two of them, but sometimes there's friends, that's good. And then Peter would pick them up at like 10 after five because I'm on evening. So then I drop them off, come home, grab my lunch, or like if I haven't put one together, quickly put a lunch together, tidy myself up a bit more and drive to work. So then I work all afternoon, all evening until 11 and get home at midnight. And Monday night I needed to like decompress a little bit. I was still pretty like, like wired from being at work. Um, so, and I got home and Peter was still awake and Felix hadn't like woken up at that point. So if Peter was folding the boys' laundry, which is like, thank you. Because so I put it in on a delay when I left on Monday. So I just put like a four hour delay on it. So I left around 1.30. It's like, okay, perfect. It'll be done at 5.30. When they get home, he can just throw it into the dryer. Beautiful. Fully expecting I would be folding it on Tuesday morning. But it was folded. So it's not put away yet. Maybe I'll do that later. Who knows? Probably not. Maybe tomorrow. Um... So yeah, came home, did that, got all my stuff, whatever. Work, come home, we just chatted about the day and like, you know, the cool stuff I saw at work, decompressed a little bit, went to bed because I had to be up in the morning even though I didn't start work till three because the boys were doing half day and Tuesday was supposed to be like a disaster, like I said. So Tuesday was supposed to be um, a what I assumed to be a Zoom meeting, like a virtual appointment with Felix's neurologist. So it was supposed to be at like three in the afternoon when they first called about the appointment and I was like, uh, like I can't, I can't do three. I start work at three, but also I was getting my second COVID shot at like 2.50. So I was already gonna be late to work, which they were obviously fine with. Um, and it's like, yeah, just get here when you get here. Like, thank you for getting your shot. So I was already gonna be late to work for that. And then I was like, okay, can we do it in the morning? So it was supposed to be at 11 in the morning. So I get down, I'm having my breakfast, chatting with the boys. And then I'm like, I should probably make sure that I got an email with like a link to this appointment. I hadn't gotten an email with a link to this appointment. So that was, a little bit like stressful. So I'm trying to find the extension for the doctor, leave a message, wait a little bit, texted Peter to be like, cause he works at that hospital, like, hey, blah, 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 this is what's going on. Can you like try and touch base to see like what, what is happening? It's fine, nothing. Call them again. And literally she answered on the second ring and I was like, hey, like it's Sarah Jankowski, blah, blah, blah. She goes, I literally just listened to your message. So the doctor's not in in the morning. Something came up. We're gonna have to do it at three. But if you're like a couple minutes late, that's fine. And I was like, okay, well like, I'm getting my, my COVID shot at 2.50. So like I might, I might be just sitting there like, you know, like the waiting, you have to wait like 15 minutes after to make sure you're like good to go. 
Um, so I was like, I might be able to chime in for like a couple minutes, but I have no idea. I, I don't know if they're on time, if they're early, if they're late, I don't know. So she was like, oh, right, right. And I was like, but you know, it's in the afternoon. Peter's work's pretty flexible. Like he can try and like see more patients earlier in the day, I guess maybe. I think that's how it works. And then like maybe his student can go and do something so he could take this call. Also because we weren't expecting it to be like a super long call. We were expecting it to just be like a touch base before we go in next week for his like admission. Okay, that's fine, no problem. So I let Peter know and he was like, yeah, I can handle it, no problem. And I said, I'll try and chime in depending on like where I'm at. Okay, so I, um, our daycare wanted us to bring the boys over a little bit early. So that made our morning easier. I got like lunch ready. We did the lunch thing, got everybody tidied up. A little bit rushed still, but I got them to daycare at 12.30. Um, didn't want to leave because it's so hard to leave them, especially like, when I've had all morning with them. Like it's, oh, I hate dropping them off. Um, I know they're good. Like I know they're so good there and it's like, they're so well taken care of, but I just, oh, I hate being away from them so much. Anyways, long story long, um, got home, finished my lunch and just like relaxed for maybe 15 minutes by myself, brush my teeth, head out the door. Uh, left early because I didn't know if there was going to be traffic. I wasn't sure how hard it was going to be to find parking close to where I was going to get my shot because it wasn't close to work this time. Um, and I was like super early. So I got in and I was like, I'm like really early because I'm driving in from like an hour away and I wasn't sure what it was going to be like. So here we are. The great thing was I got to work at quarter after three. I was not anticipating it getting work that early. So I was only 15 minutes late, which was wonderful. Um, and then I find it. So I had tried when I finished my shot and waiting and got back to the car. Um, I knew I had a little bit of wiggle room for time. So I tried to like punch in on this call. It wouldn't work. And I was like, okay, whatever. I let Peter know. I'm like, it's, I can't get in. I got to go to work. Just give me an update when it's done. So he was like, okay, no problem. I'm still like, just still waiting. And it was only like, uh, like, I don't know, two minutes after three at that point. So I like go to work, try to figure out like, what is our day looking like? And then I'm just about to like grab my paperwork and go bring a patient in to start scanning and my phone rings and it's the hospital, like not where I work, but like Peter's hospital. I was like, okay. So I answer and it's this doctor, like Felix's neurologist. And I'm so confused because it's like at this point, like, almost four o'clock. And I'm like, um, she goes, I'm so, like, I'm so sorry. It's like the teleconferencing thing. It's not working. Then I'm thinking, well, like crap, because Peter's probably sitting at his desk trying to get through on this silly phone call. It's not working. So he's probably getting super frustrated. But I was like, oh, okay. Like I got to put you on hold for a second. I got to let Peter know. So he's not sitting there waiting because like he is to leave in like, I don't know, 20 minutes to go pick the kids up from daycare. So I end up taking the phone call, I give her the update, blah, blah, blah. She didn't even know we were coming for this EEG next week, which is fine, but like, I was under the impression she was aware because her secretary was like, yeah, yeah, she'll touch base with you once once you come in. We made the plan to decrease one of his medications again. We're concerned because it's getting, we feel like it's getting worse. Like he's, he's some, like some days are great. Some days he doesn't have like, maybe even like 20 or 25. Like I'd say on average, he's like 25 to 30 seizures a day. But then there's days where like within 20 minutes, he has a cluster of like more than 50. And they're not like huge ones where he's collapsing to the ground, but a lot of times we're holding him or like if he's sitting in his high chair, like it, and everything gets droopy. So I mean like they, some are really bad. Some are like, we call them micro drops because they're not like, so we've made the plan to decrease one of his medications starting last night, like after the phone call. My impression, is that, um, so we're going next week for five days. We might not have to stay for the full five days, especially if he's having like so many seizures, they might have enough information after like two or three days. Regardless, I'm prepared to be there for five days. We're going to take away a medication. We don't know which one. They'll make a plan when we're there. But basically she says she wants to like simplify his medication because he's still on three medications and he's still like developmentally not great. And then she said she also needs like a developmental assessment. And I was like, well, we were seen by like so-and-so at this place. She goes, yeah, but that was more of just like a meeting to like see like what services you need in terms of like OT, PT, SLP. So she needs like an actual like developmental assessment to see like at what, like what age is his language at? And I wanted to like be like, um, infant because like, 
he doesn't babble anymore he doesn't do anything he doesn't really communicate he is getting like he will make known when he wants something but he doesn't like really like reach for anything or he doesn't point to stuff he just gets like agitated or like loud and he still just makes the same noise like over and over again i'm trying i'm trying really hard to not get frustrated with the fact that i can't communicate with my child which is is really hard because i love to talk and i love to converse once that happened like i simmered we're good scanned booked our day pretty solid uh in the evening and then like towards the end oh my god i'm so tired towards the end like we just tried to get caught up on reports and everything um and made sure like uh, things were as like stocked and as tidy as we could because we still didn't have like a linen cart so Hopefully when I get there at three today, we have towels. That would be nice. I got hot chocolate for my drive home. Got home and Felix had already like woken up. So Peter was upstairs snuggling Felix. And I just remember like I came home, I brought like my, I don't even know, what did I bring in? Probably like my lunch bag. And like just like dropped stuff in the kitchen. Went to the bathroom, toddled upstairs and was just like half awake, like pajamaing. And like Peter's like, how are you doing? And I just was like, <laughs> like I'm so tired. So I already told him like, you're taking the kids to daycare in the morning. So six this morning, Casper's like, mom, are you gonna get up? And I was like, no, no, I'm not. I am not getting up. Um, I don't really remember too much from this morning. I remember Casper snuggled in and the cat snuggled in, one of the cats. And obviously Felix was in there. And me and Pete all tucked into a queen size bed. It's great. And then Felix was like, where are your boobies? Here they are. And then Peter was like, I said, like, you got to take him. Like, I'm so tired. I need to keep sleeping. And Peter's like, okay, well, like, I got a shower. So you do need to like mind him for a moment. So that was fine. Casper just like blathered away about God knows what. Felix just snuggled. And I just sadly laid there because I was so tired and like didn't want to move. I think I remember them yelling out going like, we're going to Candy's house now. And I was like, peace out. <laughs> like, good night. Good morning, good night. I don't even know. And I slept until quarter to 10. It's now 20 after 12. So I've only been up for like, what? Two and a half hours? Which is, you know, explains why I'm looking like this. And I had, there, Peter had made eggs for breakfast. So I like made some toast and I put some butter and some hot sauce and some ketchup on it. And then I put my fried egg on it. I also had some granola and a coffee. And I just chilled for a while because I just didn't want to move and I didn't want to do anything. And that's perfectly acceptable in my eyes. Then I decided I should probably like tidy up a little bit. So you saw me, I was tidying a little bit. I made a list of like things I think would be fun videos to film because, you know, I feel like if you have a plan, you're more likely to do something. And anyone who watches my channel can tell that like we're a little, like sometimes I post a couple things and sometimes, sometimes I post nothing because like I can't really film at work obviously and otherwise if I'm home with the kids it, we literally do the same things every day so there's really not much to be done and I think now I think maybe I should get ready for work for no should I like I just want to stay in my jammies and be comfy uh, I don't know what to do. I think maybe I'll go to the garage and I'm gonna open the freezer and pretty sure that there's something I can take out to just set in the sink to defrost for the guys tonight. And I made, um, I'll show a video. I made um, fajitas in the crock pot yesterday. Um, in the morning, I put everything in the crock pot and just put it on low for like eight hours or something. So it would be ready around five o'clock. They get home just after five dinner's good to go. Like Peter didn't have to worry about cooking anything. Not that he can't because he's an excellent cook. It's more just, you know, I think we both try really hard to make each other's lives as easy as we can on the days that we know we're not going to be here in the evening to help out because we get home so late and there's such a short amount of time between like getting home, eating dinner, going to bed for like the boys and you don't want to drag that out. And then, cause you know, when they get tired and then they get cranky or like more cranky, whatever. I try to drink a whole water bottle on the way so this is water bottle number two today, or maybe half. I think I just had half this morning. Um, so I'll drink this probably before I leave in an hour, fill it up again, probably drink one on the way to work, and then save my coffee for when I'm at work. Cause it's like, you know, it's evening time and you're tired and you just want your warm beverage. And then usually, maybe tonight I'll try not to, but usually I get like a beverage for the drive home, especially when you're driving home and don't get home till midnight. Like 
you need you need something. So I think I'm gonna end this here. I feel like I've done enough tidy up the house is presentable-ish kind of. I'm gonna sign off and I hope that everybody has a fantastic day. Somebody sleep for me, please, because I don't know when I'm gonna do that. <gasps> God, there's a yellow jacket. Go away. Just trying to get in my house. He knows I'm here. Okay. Delirious. I'm gonna go do those things I said I was gonna do. Yes.